Hi everyone, Donut here. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down what I believe is one of the best one taps I've ever seen on a police body camera footage. Not only is this the best one tap that I've ever seen, but the police officer who makes the shot is hilariously calm while taking fire from the suspect. There are bullets whizzing past him and he takes an extremely long one tap with a red dot on an AR. I wanna send this officer a pretty gnarly care package, but in order to do that, I would like for you all to hear a word from my sponsor, Aura. Do you guys hate Hacker Man like I do? Well, I don't I don't actually hate Hacker Man. Cybersecurity is kind of fascinating. And, it, and because of that reason, you should get Aura. The fastest growing crime in America is identity theft. No, not like when you dress up like your grandmother after she dies and take her social security checks. Wait, that would be identity theft, but Aura can't help you there. They help on the internet. There's a new victim of identity theft every 14 seconds. I've been identity thieved a couple times, and I hate it. Aura does all the things. Identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software, all bundled up into one. I think one of the coolest things about Aura too is that they monitor the dark web, and whenever any of your information pops up, you get a notification on your phone. The dark web is where they share the naughty things, including your social security number. Not only do they notify you that your information is on the dark web, but they also tell you when someone's applied for credit in your name. Like I said, it's a bunch of stuff in one. They can monitor all these things for you. Plus, you get a VPN with Aura. VPNs keep your browsing history a secret. I mean, and your personal information. Keeps all that encrypted. Protect yourself and your family from identity theft at aura.com slash donut. You can also just click the link in the description below. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial so you can just jump on there right now and see if your information is on the dark web. Spooky stuff right there. Thanks for watching, here's the shooting. YouTube, this is in an educational context from a former police officer. It shows no blood. It is educational, unlike my education that I got in rural Alabama. You guys probably heard it in my early videos. I thought escape was escape. What's wrong with me? On to the video. Tacoma, Washington, known for its glass art and badass one tap police officers. Also not to be confused with vigilante hobo poop smear, Washington. August 28, 2022. Tacoma police officers respond to a 911 report of criminal domestic violence, physical violence. You guys know a lot of police get killed in CDVs. Lots of emotions and anger flying around and then a stranger wearing a uniform and a badge shows up and tries to tell you what to do. But you can't handle your own problems internally and you have to act like a child so the grown-up babysitters have to come it's not our fault in this case the caller which i'm assuming is the victim told 911 that the suspect has several guns including ars and pistols thank god that she told 911 that because that's not put out a lot of the time officers arrived on scene and started talking to the victim at a safe distance a neighbor's ring camera caught the assault from the male suspect on the female and so the officers were clear to go arrest him. They had probable cause. The police on scene saw dude standing in the street and tried to call him by name. He told them to go f themselves and then went back into his house. Stop calling me. Stop calling me by my name. We ain't friends, so don't call me by my name. Yeah, all right, you little bitch. Officers on scene set up what is called a perimeter. They circled him so he couldn't go anywhere since he was already under arrest for domestic violence. A couple of minutes later, an officer spots the suspect coming out of the back of the residence in the alleyway. Let me see your hands, man! Come on, talk to me! He's over here in the alley. Do not get in the car, man! What? Do not get in the car! Do not bring your hands out of that car! <laughs> He tells the suspect to show his hands, and the suspect responds by shooting at the officer with his AR, so the officer returns fire. This isn't a very good situation because the officer is not behind cover or concealment. The guy can see him fully in the open. The suspect has a little bit of cover behind a vehicle. A black hatchback just pulled out of the back of the house. He tried to get something out of the trunk, and now he's in the back of the house. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! We're down there. He's inside. While the officer is behind some bushes now, this isn't considered cover. This is still just concealment. Bullets can go through bushes. Shot fire, get me units. I don't know. They have a little back alley gunfight, but neither one of them were hit. The officer eventually runs for more cover. Two minutes later, the suspect exchanges fire with police again. The officer tells all his boys on scene that the suspect does in fact have a long gun. This is useful information. Get 
He has a long gun. Get units here. That's very good communication coming from that officer. That means, hey guys, you shouldn't be pulling up with pistols, you should be pulling up with your long guns. Just like any combat situation, you should always be a force multiplier. You want more guns, better guns, and more people than the person that you're against. As soon as this officer arrives on scene, he finds his cover and tries to get an angle on our suspect also. Of course, there are people standing outside of their house rubbernecking, you always want to tell them to go inside like he does. Hey, go! You may be asking yourself, well, why isn't the SWAT team here? Well, that's because the shooting started immediately after the first officers arrived on scene. The SWAT team just hasn't gotten there yet. And because he didn't stay in his house, this is not a barricaded suspect where the SWAT team can park outside and try to call him out for hours. Right now, this is an active shooter situation, which means all available units get on scene and try to stop the threat. The threat being the guy walking around the neighborhood who could possibly shoot these people standing out on their porch that the officer told to go inside. The suspect slipped past the officer's perimeter somehow and fled on foot with two long guns, two pistols, and a large amount of ammunition. Here's the route of him walking into the lion's den, the lion being Officer Munn. Little did he know Officer Munn was about to be on scene. Officer Munn, already pissed off that his coffee was going to get cold, arrives on scene and is immediately under fire by the suspect. He puts his coffee down, calmly walks to the back of his car, makes sure there's a round in his AR, props up against his patrol vehicle, and delivers a single 183-yard shot using only a red dot. A red dot meaning that it is not magnified, it does not zoom in, it's not a scope. It is a one times optic, which means it sees what your eyeballs see. There's just a red dot there. And using that, he made a shot almost two football fields long while being shot at. I think he's pushing east, but we'll show you what's right on our guys. X-ray 316, shot fired, suspects down. He's on Madison, just south of 67. I'm on you. I mean, look, look at this, look at the distance. After Officer Munn takes a shot, he instantly takes command of the scene and tells people to approach the suspect with cover. On Madison, off the 60. Hey, move up using cover, move up using cover. Yes, the officer says the suspect is down, but you still see him raise his rifle and tell everyone to be careful. This is because down does not always mean out. The suspect's adrenaline, just like the officer's, is pumping hardcore right now. That means he could have taken a round to a non-vital area, had an ouchie, and now he's hiding waiting to ambush police. So they still need to be careful. They approach the suspect while stacked up on a shield, make sure the guy's rifle was secure, smushed him into the ground with a shield, and took his handgun from him. In the end, the suspect fired 15 times at officers. The suspect ended up having two gunshot wounds, one from Officer Munn and one from himself. Yep, blew his brains out after Officer Munn destroyed him from 183 yards. I'm still gonna call that a one tap. Shortly after, a flatbed truck was commandeered by officers to carry Officer Munn and his massive fucking balls. I mean, what a, what a fucking shot, dude. Let me know in the comments below if you think that was the best shot you've ever seen me break down. Like I said at the first, if anyone can get me in contact with Officer Munn, I'd love to send them a really good care package. Well, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, head on over to DonutOperator.com where you can get some super sweet merch. There's about to be some new merch on there. Or you can follow my second channel where I vlog and show my life. Or you can follow any of my other social media stuff. I'm on every platform pretty much. I love you all. Other than that, have a fantastic day. Whacker.